Hello Akuma fans, this is Charlie with the Gossiker application staff with another Akuma OSP tip for you. Since this control is a Windows based machine, we have the ability to network the machine tool with the Office PCs which makes transferring programs incredibly easy. No need for a USB drive or an RS-232 wire, we can simply extract files from a shared folder on the server directly into our machine tool. Now, before I launch into this how-to, I just want to show you that this entire process is laid out in your OSP P200 or P300 reference manual. If you have a PDF copy, it's great. If not, you do have a paper copy that was delivered with the machine tool. And the reference manual is one of the thinner of the, the group. And section 11 has all of the step-by-step -step process for networking your machine. Now we're going to assume for the purpose of this video that we have already established a connection between the uh, office server and the machine tool. So now all we have to do is teach the OSP where that shared folder resides. So right now I'm using a P300 control. Yours may be a little different, not to worry about it. What we're looking for is called the vertical action keys. It'll be on the right side of the screen. Mine are hidden with a pull up menu. Yours might be permanent on there, but either way, the icon we're looking for is the machine with a gear. By clicking that, now we have DNC T1 settings. By touching that, you'll get a window that is establishing where our pathway is going to be to that shared folder. The device name can be anything, but we're going to stick with TCA simply because we only want one primary uh, connection to our server drive. Now we have the remote pathway. Now knowing a remote pathway is kind of a pain in the butt, so what we, they give us is a reference button. If we click the reference button, we'll get a little browse window that comes up. It searches our network for us, and as soon as we see what is networked, it populates those. Now I'm going to find my server and my direction and simply navigate to the specific pathway that I want to use for my program files. When I'm creating a file from a PC offline, I do need to make sure that I post it or move it into the folder that I've selected here. Now by saying OK, it will automatically populate the remote path for me. Now depending on how your permissions are from your network device, you may have to physically type this in. But once you have a remote pathway in place, now we can click on apply and you'll see a word that says succeeded in save. Now we can quit out of this and we want to see how to actually use it. So by hitting the program operations button that's on your machine panel, it brings up the machine directory number one. This is where we're operating we need to see the terminal connection that we just established a pathway for. So by clicking on directory display, there's our TC here. Now yours may be slightly different. Let me show you a really slick trick that you can do on, on power up and then you'll have the terminal connection available all the time. We have a button down here called another display. This is on the P200 and P300. So by clicking on another display, it gives me a dialog block. You notice that it has an option to show one directory or split the screen and do two. So that's precisely what I want to do. On the left side of the screen, I want my machine directory, highlight or tap the box underneath device name and select the terminal connection. Now when I say OK, it has now split the screen showing me the folder of my terminal connection and the machine directory one. So when it comes time to transfer a program, I simply find the program that's on my server and say copy. This gives me an opportunity to change the file name and I'll copy it to the left. Now it has just moved uh, copied, excuse me, it's not a move, but it copied from the terminal connection into my machine directory where I can now operate it. And when you power off the machine, this terminal connection is going to go away. You'll power back up and see this. So you'll just have to repeat the process of directory display, another display, select the right block, and select terminal connection. 
then it will be up there for the remainder of the day or as long as the machine is powered on. Thanks for watching. If there's anything else we can do, please contact your local Gossiger application staff.